If you happen to visit beach in summer time, you must have noticed that water is cooler than the sand which is next to it. Tar road next to the sand is much hotter than the sand. All are equally heated by the sun rays. What could be the reason for this weird behavior? You don't have to visit the beach to try this out yourself. Let us take these two containers which weigh the same. One has sand while other has water in it. They are at the same temperature. Now let us take this out in the open and keep it in the sunlight for one hour. If I measure the temperature of the sand and water after one hour, will it be the same? It is not. Temperature of sand is more than that of water. We provided the same sunlight to both the containers. What could be the reason for this? We are talking about a new term, specific heat. Specific heat is the amount of heat energy needed to raise the temperature of the substance of certain amount. Normally, it is the unit mass of substance. Rise in temperature is 1 degree. Specific heat of water is very high. That means it takes lots of heat energy to raise the temperature by 1 degree. Sand and tar has a lower specific heat. That means less heat energy is required to raise the temperature of 1 degree for sand and tar. That is the reason sand is hotter than water and tar is hotter than sand. SI unit of specific heat is joule per kilogram degree Celsius and CGS unit of specific heat is calorie per gram degree Celsius. Scientists have already measured specific heat for various substances for us. For water it is 1 calorie per gram degree Celsius. It means you will need to provide 1 calorie of heat to raise the temperature of 1 gram of water by 1 degree Celsius. How much is 1 calorie? We can generalize the amount of heat required. If m is the mass of the substance and we have to raise its temperature from T0 degree to T1 degree Celsius, then the amount of heat required to achieve this will be mass m multiplied by specific heat C multiplied by the temperature difference T1 minus T0. Q is the amount of heat required. Have you ever wondered why oil heats up very fast in a frying pan but water takes so long to boil? Let me do another activity to understand specific heat better. Let me take two containers and fill these with water and oil. Both have the same mass, 100 gram. Both liquids are at the same temperature. We will place thermometer to observe the change in temperature as we heat the container. Time taken to raise the temperature of 100 gram of water from 70 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius is 2 minutes and 15 seconds. While time required to raise the temperature of 100 grams of oil from 70 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius is 1 minute and 5 seconds. What does this indicate? Specific heat of oil is less than that of water. It takes less amount of heat energy to raise the temperature of oil by 1 degree than that of water. Summary We discussed an important concept called as specific heat. Amount of energy needed to raise the temperature of the substance of certain amount. We performed activity to find out why sand is hotter than water in the same environment.